Hi everyone, it's Tom, WA2IVD. This video is being recorded in May of 2023. Some of you may have noticed that the upper HF bands have really started to come alive recently. In particular, 10 meters has had some really great openings in the last several months. This video is mainly to encourage everyone and technician class operators in the US in particular to explore the world of HF, especially on 10 meters. The current solar cycle is on the rise and it's expected to peak in July of 2025. So that means that the next several years might get pretty exciting. The bands have actually not been great for the last couple of weeks because of some solar storms. But even so, there still have been some openings on 10 meters and it's been more usable than it's been in the last several years. I recently adjusted one set of band edges on the 7300 scope to go from 28.3 to 28.5 megahertz. That's the technician phone portion of 10 meters. Here's some examples of what I've heard over the last several days. 759 plus a little bit there every now and then bouncing around. But uh, beautiful audio, just sounds perfect coming into Houston, Texas. And uh, the name here is Dennis. ZL1WN, ZL1 Whiskey November, CQ, 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 CQ. La misma letra, digo, tú le dices la misma letra tuya, pero con N. ¿Qué te gasta bien de la junta, la junta? ¿Sabes quién soy yo? Alabama, thank you. Here, São Paulo, Brazil, Papa Yellow 2, Japan Yellow, thank you. Every three, good bless, bye-bye, Papa Yellow 2, Japan Yellow. My wife and two sons all have their technician licenses. They aren't too active, but the radio bug has bitten my younger son recently. He just bought a Yezu FT891 so that he could get on 10-meter sideband. He rents a house with a couple of roommates, so his antenna options are pretty limited. Last weekend, he came over to our house to work on a 10 meter and 6 meter fan dipole. So we were adjusting and tuning it so that he can hang it outside of his house to get on 10 and also on 6 when there's some openings. We also took a CB mag mount antenna and cut it down for 10 meters so that he would have a mobile antenna as well. Sean lives a couple hours away from us, and on his drive home last weekend, he had a pretty exciting QSO for one of his first 10-meter mobile HF contacts. I don't typically have guests on this channel, but I thought it might be fun to talk with Sean and ask him about his experience making the contact and see what he had to say. So why don't you tell everybody who you are? So my name is Sean Apolenic. Uh, I may or may not be related to the man on the other screen over here. Uh, my call sign is Kilo Juliet 6, Victor Quebec Charlie. Uh, I have a technician class license, and uh, I've held it for about 11 years now. That's right. You got that in California when we were living out there. And so, yeah, you were 12? Yep. When you got your first, uh, when you first got the license. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of these days, I'm going to convince you to go for your general and or I, maybe extra eventually. I've been studying um, for the general. So I have shown everybody some of the 10 meter stuff that we were working on over the weekend. Um, why don't you tell them a little bit about what the setup is that you're running in the car right now? So I have... Uh, two radios that are capable of 10 meters, uh, FT8900, uh, which only does 10 meter FM, so none of the frequencies I can actually operate on. So I recently picked up a uh, FT891 uh, HF 6 meter radio, and so I've been running that in the car, uh, just sitting on the passenger seat, with a uh, CB mag mount uh, on the roof that was cut and trimmed for 10 meters. Okay, and it sounds like that uh, that works pretty good. And you just recently got the 891. So what was your very first contact with your own radio on your call sign on HF? Uh, so my very first call sign, or contact, rather, uh, with my radio uh, on HF under my call sign was actually to Argentina on 10 meters. 
uh, using your antenna, a uh, it's a uh, not an end fed, it's an off center fed, uh, eighty meter dipole, I believe. Right here at the house last weekend. Yeah, when, when we were first when you first hooked the radio up to make sure everything worked. Yes, you know. and uh, was able to get my first HF contact under my call to uh, to Argentina. Yes, and then the one this last weekend was kind of the exciting one. So uh, what was your second HF contact, which was mobile on the setup you just described? Uh, well, technically my second HF contact was you, uh, but- Oh, my... right, last week when we were playing around. Okay. But uh, on, on my way home from, uh, from your, your house on the weekend, uh, I got my third HF contact, which was my second mobile, but second not point to point 20 miles, um, was actually to a guy named Ross in New Zealand doing, uh, while well, I was doing mobile going down the highway on my way home. And uh, I was very surprised to get it. Uh, I actually, I was just kind of tuning around uh, on the radios, I was going down the ra uh, highway just to see if there was if ten meters was alive or not, and I heard his voice, and I kind of I recognized it because actually the week before, uh, when I was up there and I got that Argentina contact, I had actually heard him uh, on ten meters, and I was trying to get him, uh, and I ended up not getting in with the pile up, and then by, uh, you know after I think ten or fifteen minutes, having to to leave to go do something so i wasn't able to make contact then but uh was able to make uh get him this weekend on my way down the down the highway which i was really not expecting to do yeah that was pretty cool and actually so uh truth in advertising since you and i talked on the phone and you mentioned that you had uh you were hearing him i was able to actually record that from here, although I couldn't hear you, but I could hear him very well. So let's just play that real quick. Uh, the Quebec Charlie, the Quebec Charlie, come on. Okay, Kilo Juliet 6, Victor Quebec Charlie. Oh yeah, it took a bit of typing. And uh, hello, Sean, nice to hear you in Kansas. Uh, the name here is Ross, Romeo Oscar Sierra Sierra. Romeo Oscar Sierra Sierra, back to you, go. Okay, well, you're a five and five with the mobile coming in beautifully, so uh, thank you for the call and uh, best wishes to you. Seven threes. So that was uh, five, five and five with a cut down CB whip mobile, I'd say is pretty good to New Zealand. Yeah, he was, I mean, he was definitely doing the, uh, the heavy lifting on, uh, on his end. I heard, uh, some brief exchanges with the uh, other contacts he made talking about he was running a uh it's like a six or seven element beam up on a 60 or 80 foot tower so he was definitely heavy lifting the uh side of the conversation there my radio was telling me i was two on the swr with my mobile so yeah so i need to need to trim that just a little better it was uh it was better than that at the bottom end of the 28.3 to 28.5 but anyway just wanted to uh, let you tell everybody about that contact and uh, maybe we can convince a few more people to get on 10 meters and especially technicians can, can get on 10 meters. And uh, at the rate you're going with, uh, with DX contacts versus stateside contacts, you might end up getting your DXCC before you get your worked all states. You know, it's, it's possible. Uh, I'm definitely really enjoying the, uh, the HF stuff more. It's kind of getting me a little bit back more into the hobby. And uh, I have a, a, a friend of mine who's also a, a ham radio operator has been telling me I need to try out some of the digital stuff. So I guess I'll have to go and uh, set up stuff on my laptop and uh, try maybe do some digital HF. Well, I think that'd be good. And of course, you got the radio for it now. And now you just need to get that license upgrade so you can start using all the other bands on the radio too. Yeah, no, nah, it's I'm definitely I'm working on the uh the studying. It's got to love all the book stuff that uh that goes in with studying for a new license. Yeah, but you can do it. Anyway, well thanks for spending a few minutes with everybody and uh we'll talk to you soon. Yep. It was a pleasure to to talk to you and uh you know, thank, thanks for the opportunity. 
this is definitely a good time to explore 10 meters. Another YouTuber, Mike, K8MRD, has been running a live stream on Tuesdays on his channel called Technician Tuesdays. He gets on 10 meters and encourages technicians to get on and make some contacts with him. He hasn't done one in the last several Tuesdays. I don't know if that's because band conditions have been poor or maybe because he's been traveling, but hopefully he'll start that up again soon. Mike has a pretty interesting channel. He does a lot with portable operating and POTA, but he also has just general interest ham radio topics as well. I've got a link to his channel in the description. You should go check it out. You may have also noticed my t-shirt. Over the last couple of years, a few people have asked about channel-specific merch. So I finally got around to putting something together and put up a store. I'll have a link to that in the description as well. There's only a few things on there right now, but hopefully I'll start expanding that and put some general interest ham radio stuff and maybe some funny stuff up there as well. That's all I've got for this time. If you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate a click on that like button. And if you like the channel, please consider subscribing. And also click on that bell icon so you'll get notified when new videos come out. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Radio A to Z.